Okay, welcome back. We've now got our dried off uh, blood smears, and we also have our microscope ready to do our differential count. And we have something here called a differential count maker. And basically it is uh, a scorekeeper. So as you see, let's see your first neutrophil, you'd click on segmented, which is another name for neutrophils. Uh, and then if you see a second one, you would click on that again. If you see a, a lymphocyte, you click on that, a monocyte, etc. And it keeps track of the number of times you click each one. And of course, when you hit 100, it makes a nice little dinging sound, which is pretty cool. It lets you know you're done making your 100 uh, counts. And then you can read across the percentages here. Now, you don't need one of these uh, to actually make a differential count. You can just use a piece of paper with little tick marks for each of the five different white blood cell types. So that's what we're going to do today. We'll put that aside. And we want to take our slide and place it on the microscope. So we've got us turned down to our 4x objective, which is scanning power. We'll place our slide in there. And then we're going to look around uh, for that feathered edge. And that's where we want to start looking for cells and working our way up in magnification. OK, so I'm going to zoom in on that now. And I can see my feathered edge under the microscope. I'm going to go out to my 10x lens. OK, so that's uh, low power. And what I'm looking for is an area just proximal to that feathered edge. And that's where we're going to have this nice monolayer of cells back here. So I'm going to go to my 10x lens, focus, 40x lens, focus. And then in between the 40x and the oil immersion, I want to add a drop of my immersion oil. And this is only if your microscope has an immersion lens. So we'll put that on there right now. Okay, and then slide the 100x lens over. Okay, now let's take a look at some human blood. And it's, you can see it's a much better stain. Uh, what you can see right now in the middle of the field of view, of course, a lot of uh, erythrocytes with their central pallor because they are thinner in the center. They're like a donut that hasn't been punched all the way through. And that gives them more surface area. The other things you can see are these little red guys that are at the corners of the, uh, of the erythrocytes, and those are going to be uh, most often probably going to be my platelets. All that, that could just be some dye precipitate too. So let's look around and see if we can find our first white blood cell. Okay, so this is a beautiful human. Uh, looks like eosinophil. That is just awesome. Eosinophil bilobe nucleus. So crack that down. It's very rare that that would be our first cell because they're pretty rare. You know, their cells. So this is a human neutrophil. This is staining more like a neutrophil should stain. Uh, it's, yeah, it has sort of a neutral stain in the background and a segmented nucleus, neutrophils. This cell right there, again, looks very familiar from what we've seen in the dog. It's a lymphocyte. Okay, what is that? Looks like we have two cells here, so. This should be very familiar by now, as is that guy. And that guy. And that guy. There. Do your best to identify this one here. Take a look at the size. Take a look at the staining properties. Same with this one. And again. And again. That guy should be easy to identify, a little distorted, but no cell gets that big except for one. We've seen plenty of these. And plenty of those. One of those. And that one. There. And there. Okay, so do your best to identify this guy right here. And that guy right there. 
this one should be easy. Another one. And another one. And again. And again. One more. And identify these two. And that one. And that one. And once again. And that one. One more. More. And the one in the center. And that one. Yep. And this is one of our more uncommon granular leukocytes. So identify that one as best as you can. Here's one we've seen before. And that one. As if that one. Another one of those. And of those. And another one. One of those. And another one. One of those. And another one. And one more. And one of those. And another one. Another one. There. And there. And there. There. And those two. And last but not least, we'll end on this guy.